What's up guys and welcome to FL Fishing Channel. Today we're going to talk about the goggle eyes, how to catch goggle eyes, how I catch the goggle eyes. Maybe the way I do it is not the right way, but it's been working for me for years, and so I'm going to share with you guys how I do it. So if you don't know what a goggle eye is, it's one of the best bait you can ever use, life or dead. These things are deadly, amazing, beautiful, great, I love them. So without any further ado, let's go to the video. To catch goggle eyes, we don't need much. All we need is going to be a sabiki and a sinker. Let's talk about the sabiki first. Okay, the sabiki, the ones that I like to use are the ones with the little feathers. Let me show you, let me use this one that I already opened so I don't have to open the package. So it's the one with the feathers. So we want from number 12 to number 16 the most. So you don't want to use anything bigger than 16 or I don't use anything bigger than 16. The smallest size that I use is number 14, I mean 12, and the biggest 16. Right here, my hands, this is number 15 right here, which you guys can see in the package, number 15. This is where I normally use whatever I can find cheap, I buy. It doesn't have to be this brand. It can be any brand you like, Sabiki. Uh, it can be Hayabusa. It can be Offshore. It can be whatever you guys want. What I like about this brand, which I'm not even uh, affiliated with these guys at all. What I like about this brand myself is two things. Number one, they're cheap. Normally, I get them for around uh, 4 or $5. Number two, let me show you why. Uh, see if I can open it. There you go. Number two, all these, um, all this green paper, whatever it is, it glows at night. Also, it has little bits on the bottom. They also glow at night. So that helps a lot. So, so far, this is what I've been using. Like I said, you don't have to use this brand. You can use whatever brand you like. You can go even cheaper. Offshore, I think it's way cheaper. It goes for like $3 a package. So again, you want to use a Sabigi from number 12 to 16 the most. The one with the feathers. I don't know if you guys can see on the video. The one with the little feathers. If it has any anything that glows, that's going to help a lot. Uh, what else you need to know about the Sabigi? Nothing else. It just has to be from number 12 to 16 with the feathers. If, it's, if it has something that glows, even better. Now let's talk about the sinker. I normally use one ounce to one and a half the most. Why? Because I'm fishing from a kayak. On a kayak, I can go real slow. So because I can go real slow, they say, they say this is my kayak, and this is gonna be my sabiki. Because I can go real slow, the, uh, the sinker will be about midwater. It will be like, not, it, it won't go really deep because it's just one ounce and I'm going real slow. Now, if you're fishing from a boat, then you have to go faster because your boat, it won't go less than two knots. Uh, minimum speed, you're going to need to use a bigger sinker. Just make sure your sinker doesn't hit the bottom. If it hits the bottom, you're going to get stuck and you're going to do sabiki. So make sure to use a bigger sinker if you need to go about three knots. If you go whatever speed you're going on the boat, whatever is your minimum speed, if it's too much, you want to use a bigger sinker. Just make sure not to hit the bottom. If you hit the bottom, you're going to get stuck and you're going to lose your sinker. Now, how far away we want this, the sabiki from the boat or kayak? It doesn't really matter, but I don't keep it too close because the boat or kayak, it can't scare the school, the school of fish. So you want to keep it about 40, 50, 60 feet the most back there and throw it as slow as you can. Also, and very important, this is the only part that sucks about this. The only way you're going to catch this fish using this sabikis is at night. Okay, I normally like to do it two hours before sunlight. So you want to be on the water at least two hours before sunlight. How deep? Okay, this is where it changed. If you want to, if you do, if you're gonna do it like I do, about two hours before sunlight, I do it really shallow, between eight feet to twenty feet at most. And where it doesn't really matter. The, the school can be on the sand, on top of the rocks. If it's a structure, it will be even better. But it, it doesn't have to have a structure for you to catch the bait. They can be anywhere. They, they normally be at night, they're moving around looking for little minnows and stuff like that to eat. So they can be anywhere. So all you gotta do, throw your stuff far away from you and throw it real slow till you find the school. Once you find the school, just go back and forward and catch as many as you need.
let's go over everything real quick. So number one, we're gonna need Saviki from number 12 to number 16 the most. The one with the feathers, if it has anything that glows, even better. That's a Sabiki. Number two, the sinker, depending where you're fishing from. If you're fishing from a bridge, it doesn't really matter because you can crank a little faster or a little slower. It depends on how deep you're fishing from the bridge. It's not a big deal. Of the kayak, I recommend about one to ounce and a half, no more than that. Because if you go, if you use bigger than this, you're gonna go you're gonna have to be paddling or paddling really hard, really fast, and you're gonna kill yourself. You wanna go slow, taking the time, finding the school. So one ounce for the kayak will be great. On the boat, it all depends on your boat, on the size of your boat, the size of your motor. Your minimum speed will be about one, two knots. Shit, one ounce will be do, will do great. If your boat needs to go faster for the size of the boat or you know, whatever, so you're gonna need a bigger sinker. It's just about that. How deep? Between eight foot to 20 foot. Just do six sacks looking for the schools. Once you find it, again, go back and forward and you catch as many as you need. What else we need to know? Number three, the rod line, it's not a big deal. Just make sure to use 20 to 30 pounds, 15 pounds. Um, any light rod will do, any reel, it doesn't really matter. It's just goggle eyes. It's, they're not gonna fight that hard. So you don't really need anything special, any special gear to catch this fish. Also, as you guys, this Savikis, I've been using these Savikis for what? Three, four months already? They've been out with me like 20 times already and they're still good. This is something else. You, if you, if you're good, like, if you have money like that, you can throw it away and buy a new one every time. I reuse them over and over and over till they get rusted. Once they rust, I just throw it away. Most of you guys know each of these fish will cost you a life. What? Six, seven, eight dollars, nine dollars a piece. You guys, you guys know how they go for it. They go for a lot of money a lot. Even dead, you won't find a, a goggle light for even for less than three dollars. If you find a dead goggle light for less than three dollars, buy them all. That's a great deal. They normally go for about four dollars a piece. Dead. These guys are amazing. This is one of the best bait you can ever use. If you go out and you try this, if you do good or you do bad, if you have any more questions, please let me know on the comments below. If you need, if I missed something, if there's something else that I that you need to know that I'm not realizing, please let me know and I'll be glad to answer that on the on the comments. So guys, this is all that I got for today. I hope this helps. If it did, please leave me a like and maybe subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. And I'll see you in the next.